my arms were long enough. I just can't get it up. Ugh. That didn't sound right, did it? It did not sound right, but that's only because I have a dirty mind. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Elmarie Vita family. If you are joining me for the first time, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm going to do cocktail dresses, try on haul, and I am wearing my first outfit. First outfit, and I do hope they fit because I haven't tried any of them since I've given birth to Mate because nobody was going anywhere. Um, and I'm still not going anywhere. Edward, why is that? Hello? I need to go somewhere. <laughs> Um, so I do hope they fit and some of them I was still in my young element So I might not like them as much as I like them Prior to giving birth. Let's just say it's motherhood. It takes over your brain. Who knows? So this is my first outfit And believe it or not it's from ASOS And it still fits well, what am I doing? It's not like I have anything to show. <laughs> I am literally having a, a bra moment because I can clearly tell that this bra is wearing me. I'm not wearing it. Have you ever heard that saying where they say the clothes is wearing you, you're not wearing clothes? Well, I know that I am wearing this dress, but the bra is wearing me because there ain't nothing going on up here. Anyways, have a look. It is still one of my favorite. Years ago, I did a photo shoot here um, and I styled it. And the photographer that came brought this dress. And people, I'm yet to pay for it. Because I did ask her to send me her account details and all of that, but I didn't get it. But here I am in the people I'm dressed, so I'm gonna pay for. Uh huh. Living life. I think it's a beautiful dress. I still love it. I love the, the puffy sleeves. And I love the top of it. I love the fit, the length, everything about this dress I love. And I love the fact that it makes me look like I have something going on here. Even though I have been doing some squats, so it's working. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think of this dress. And at the end, do let me know which is your favorite as well. Not sure what I was thinking when I bought this dress. I think I was still going through my my young years not that I'm old but I think the older you get some of the clothing that you have in your wardrobe you just look at it and go I can't I can't be bothered this is one of them as beautiful as it is it is one of those dresses that I don't feel like I will I mean I love the lace details on the on the arms um, but this was why I bought it this bit of it it's, oh, I don't know what it is, but it tends to, to bend all the time at the front. And now it's it's even worse, because I don't even have anything. No matter if I put chicken fillets in, nothing is gonna go up. So it doesn't quite help. It's literally flat, but I like the back. But this is what I mean. Look, it's literally under here. Where would I wear this to? Thankfully, I've gotten, um, I, well, I've got to, I got to wear it like twice, so it's not a bad thing, but I don't think I will be in a hurry to wear this. I'll probably wear it with stockings or something like that, but as I said, I won't be in a hurry. <sighs> and let's move on to the other one. Yes. When you're in your 20s, short, tight clothing is, is the in thing for some reason. But when you get a bit older, I can't even get this up. When you get a bit older, it is, it's, it's, not, it's not the in thing. It's more about comfort more than anything. Style and comfort. And the shorter is not, is not what you're looking for. You're looking for something that is a bit more sophisticated and elegant. So this is it. I don't know what they call the fabric. Um, you know the kind of fabric, like if you, even if you have like a, a little um, tummy or, or you know, just a little skin or whatever, it literally sucks you in. Um, this is one of those 
materials it, it just it literally sucks your body in if you have anything to suck in I mean I don't have anything <sighs> but again this is the problem I think if I if I have heels on and I was wearing this to probably um, a cocktail event all I would be doing is this all the time pulling it down and I dislike when I see ladies out and all they're doing is, is pulling pulling the clothing down it means it's too short so this is one of those um, if only my sister was as tiny as me I could give her a lot of my clothing because I do have clothing that I just don't really think I will be wearing again and unfortunately this is one of them it's just too short I'm getting old people this is motherhood for you I cannot get these zips up this is when you need a husband an assistant <laughs> I really can't get it up my arms are yeah I can't get it up and it does fit it's just that I, can't, I really can't get it up so this is the fabric I love the fabric I love the style of it but as I said up here it's just a bit too it comes too far when I'm standing it comes too far up to my neck it just it you can feel it on your neck um, cross like this I don't I don't like the feeling but apart from that this dress is lovely and I will definitely wear it again and again and again until it can't fit anymore <laughs> There's a little boutique in St. Moritz and let me tell you, I am so in love with that boutique. It is like a candy store, a, can, a, a, a dress shop candy store. Every time you go in there, you are going to find like countless things. You, you literally just want to pack everything up and take it home with you. And she stocks like a variety of designers, so it's not just one. Um, designer it's like a few but this was my first dress that I bought in the store and I have two more that I will try well at the end um, I have one more dress to try and then there's two others that I bought in the same store I just love the dresses but this is more my taste um, to the knee just I mean come on it is more classy and and, and elegant you know than showing way too much yeah, so, and this I feel covered, and I know that a dress like this I will be wearing forever and ever. I will tell you that I am proud of myself, the fact that I was able to give birth, literally look like an elephant that was about to pop open, and then I gave birth, and I am back to my size. That is something that I didn't know would have happened but I'm very happy. I worked freaking hard. <laughs> but this is, so I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to fit into a lot of these dresses because a few of them, apart from this, because I wore it the other day, but a few of them I haven't really tried because I, you know, we've been in lockdown so we haven't been going anywhere. I think it was a vintage shop I bought it in in Loughborough. And I haven't, I haven't worn it, but to be honest with you, I think I've probably, if I'm in and around the house when it's hot or something like that, I'll wear it, but it's not something I'm gonna wear out. Um, this is for, this is for someone, I think in their twenties. I can't even, I can't, I can't zip it up. But you, you get the idea. If my arms were long enough, I just can't get it up. Ugh. That didn't sound right, did it? It did not sound right, but that's only because I have a dirty mind. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it, it's, it's not going up. Um, I would need someone to zip it up for me. But I bought it, I bought it in Loughborough probably a couple years ago, and I feel like it's too young but do you understand what I mean when I say it's too young this is for someone probably in their 20s and you know your girl ain't in her 20s yeah I I've out, I've outgrown this dress so when I saw it I thought it was cute and it is still cute this is why I bought it this bit here 
But apart from that, no, this is a this is a no go for me. Thankfully, a lot of my clothing, <sighs> even when I was pregnant, I didn't have to buy a lot of clothing, which I was happy about because I don't know if I'm gonna get knocked up again. That was hard work. So I'm very happy I don't have a lot of maternity clothing. I was able to still wear. Oh, let me get this out. Okay, so let me come a bit closer. This is what it looks like. Look at the detail. I just, I love the color, the length of it, the fit of it. I mean, it literally, it hugs my body. What more does a girl want? This is one of my favorite as well. And last but not least, oof. Now I need to get it off. <laughs> I'm guessing I won't be able to, to zip this up as well. But I'll show you what it looks like. Let me just... No, I won't be able to zip this up. It's. It's very difficult to zip these dresses up. This is where I need an assistant. Edward, where are you? <laughs> okay, so this is it right here. Also another one of my favorite. And it's not too short, so I don't have any problem with this. Like I would wear this to um, not only a cocktail party, but like I probably wear this clubbing. clubbing you know I haven't been clubbing in ages I feel like when I go clubbing the next time your girl will be so tipsy so tipsy I haven't been out like even even after I gave birth you know normally after you give me birth and like maybe six months down the line when you stop breastfeeding not that I uh, anyway um, you would go partying I haven't even done that yet so I'm looking forward to going out, a night out. Hello. <laughs> and this is the last outfit, guys. So thank you for tuning in and watching my try on haul. And if there is like any other try on haul that you would like for me to do, because I'm really enjoying them, <laughs> do let me know. And please remember to click like. For now, take care.